Hi there, it's Kevin with Gonro Games here with another product review video. This time we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite products out there, which is Dragon Shield Playmats. Now these have been on sale for incredibly cheap. I think that they're regular go for about 20, 25 bucks for a Dragon Shield Playmat and the quality is just superior. It just is telling of Dragon Shield and everything they do, their quality is top notch and playmats are no exception. And I'm going to show you my entire playmat collection of all of the ones I was able to get for super cheap. If you are a patron, you can get these for as low as $8. I think there's between seven and $8 for the different particular arts. And we're also using these cheap Dragon Shield playmats to actually print our own uh, logos on the Dragon Shield mat. So I have this one in black and I also have one here in blue so blue and white so uh, this one is just screen printed we, we used a different uh, material here for this one uh, we're at, we'll look in the prices to how cheap we can get these down so if you are interested in supporting the channel uh, we do have the gone rogue might put some games here we don't know we just like the gone rogue logo though uh, you can get them right now in black and white and we'll look for other colors and the white you can get any color combination of the white background with whatever color paint you want because we can actually mix the paints to, to uh, any colors to your heart's desire black same thing but I think the white pops out really well on these dragon shield mats so dragon shield mats are like I said top quality you can see here that they have stitching on the edges which I actually like because it makes it so that the play mats don't fray they are very good for not sliding around in fact I use these dragon shield play mats as my uh, as the the mouse pads uh, for my computers because again got them for super super cheap and I think the these can be had for five bucks each is, is the, the white and the black ones I'll have the, 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 the prices to the left here and that way you can check them out and see if you're interested in purchasing them if you are a patron. If you're a patron too, these do not count against your monthly allocations. We do supplies uh, basically to your heart's desire. You can order as many as you want. Now keep in mind there is shipping and shipping on playmats does tend to be a little bit expensive unless you're buying a lot of uh, product where it will fit in a big box. That's what I highly suggest that you do is you fill up a big box, get everything shipped, and that way you can save on shipping. Alrighty, so let's get started. This is going to be kind of a long process to looking at the Dragon Shields. One more thing here. They come This is this is also kind of cool about these Dragon Shield playmats. They come in these these boxes that also have a like little life counter on them. So as you can see, there's 20 life uh, all the way to one. And what, what they also come with is they come with these little collector coins that just stick in the slots. So you have 13 life. I particularly wouldn't use something like that, but they are kind of cool. I've actually been using these, these coins, these Dragon Shield coins uh, for different board games. Uh, and just replacing the, you know, the cheap components with these for anything that uses coins. Because these are pretty cool. They come in a variety of different styles. Here's like a little shield one. Um, I don't know if it's focusing there or not, but they're kind of cool. There's a silver one as well. There's lots of different ones. Anyway, so they come in this box um, that you can use to store it. So you don't have to actually buy like a playmat too, but you have to get with, with many times when you buy a playmat. Uh, they're pretty, pretty neat. Have the art on them. Uh, but yeah, that's what you get for the Dragon Shield playmat. So let's look at these beautiful arts. The reason why I like these is the art is just, if, you'll find a style that you do like. Um, so... Uh, I highly, highly, highly suggest checking these out in the link that we'll post and find one and, you know, showcase some dragon art. That's I, I, Ever since I've been a kid, I've always loved dragon art, the fantasy dragon art. So Dragon Shield is right on par with their, their beautiful artwork for these playmats. So I don't know the names of these particular ones because you do have to figure out the, the color kind of scheme and name uh, when you're ordering them. So we have this classic dragon here. This one's br this one's beautiful. I love this one. One of the problems with these mats when you first get them is there are some creases in them, but we figured out you can iron them and it doesn't hurt the play mat whatsoever. And you'll get these creases out of the, the tops of them. So this one's just absolutely gorgeous. So it's got a dragon on top of the, the, the treasure. Absolutely love this one. They also have some classic arts where Dragon, dragon Shield is just put in a dragon for some classic art. So I think this one's called the Whistler's Mother. Uh, so it's just got this classic art here and it's got the dragon on this lady's shoulder. Um, then you have some ones that really pop out. Look at this orange one here. It's just got the dragon that pops out. Another orange one here with another dragon. Just beautiful, beautiful. I, I'm hoping the camera is picking up these colors because they just, they do, they just pop. Another classic one, I can't remember what the Philosopher, I believe is what this one's called. 
So it's got the, there are actually dragon shield sleeves that can match with this. We have a blue one with a wizard dragon holding its kind of uh, the staff here. And then the poppy field. So again, they've, they've hidden this little dragon here in the um, artwork. So not another classic art. And then we have the robotic dragon right there. This one's gorgeous. Love this one. It's got kind of the cityscape. Kind of works with the, the Ikoria theme, at least for the, the, the uh, Godzilla cards. So kind of match with those. Uh, then we have this pink one with a, a sparkling dragon. Another beautiful landscape in the background. These mats just pop. I absolutely, absolutely think they're gorgeous. All right, so we have this yellow dragon, yellow red dragon, kind of in a volcanic structure, mountainous structure. Another one of my favorites here with this, this blue dragon here. Just kind of, you know, just absolutely. I love, just look at this. Look at the way they, they pop out of the background. They did very, very, very good artwork uh, combination with the backgrounds. And when you're playing actually cards on them, they look very pretty as well. All right, so here we go with the umber dragon. And here's another one of my favorites. This sort of, you know, feathery Chinese looking dragon with horns, a nice little backdrop with the mountains in the back backdrop. And you have some of these more, you know, Chinese looking artworks with the Chinese dragon here. And back to some more of the fantasy looking one. And again, if you're if you are a patron, just timestamp where the math that you want, and I can give you a quote. Like I said, all these are going to be be eight dollars or below for how much they're they're charging right now. So I don't know if if uh, one one thing with playmats is playmats just became where people had so many of them, it was harder and harder for different companies to sell. Especially at places like Ink Playmats and a few other custom playmats that will you know print your own playmats. But I mean, the quality of these is much better than I would even say Ink Playmats is. They are very very. Uh, top notch. So this is uh, a beautiful fantasy dragon here. Let's get this pile out of the way. Getting too focused on the... Alright, here we have another uh, kind of Ikoria themed dragon. And more comical looking dragon. And this one's one of my favorite, one of my best sellers is this this guy here with the orb in the backdrop. Another one of my best sellers, the chained up dragon. This is more of a Theros theme in my opinion. I don't know, I guess it could work for Ikoria. Oh, this one's just beautiful. Another uh, pink mat with, yeah, nice little back backdrop here. I believe this is another classic art that they just threw in a dragon. I'm not sure if it is or if it is original artwork, but it's got the you know, beautiful landscape in the dragon. And this one definitely is. I can't remember what this classic piece is. Uh, I think this one's called Hunter in the Snow is what it's called. And so you've got the classic art and they've just put a dragon in it. And now this is my second favorite mat. This is this is one of them that I play on. Um, it has this beautiful Chinese red dragon. Uh, this one's really cool. This one's called the Red Zone because it has the... Um, so yeah, you have your your play area right here and then we go into attacks up here on the, the red zone and this one's a little bit larger it doesn't fit quite in my camera and another one of my favorites I know I keep saying these are all my favorites got the little baby dragon in the, the the pot here the witch's brew pot here and the mountain mountain backdrop with the ocean got another one of my favorites with the pirate ship in the background so this this kind of ice dragon with the pirate ship in the background and we have the Kind of anime looking weeb dragon here with just the, all the different elements that are circling around it kind of cool and then we have this one just pops another beautiful beautiful play mat uh here we have this blue dragon just look at look at the way this pops out of here definitely going to turn eyes and the best artwork ever hands down don't argue with me this is the most beautiful play mat in the world 
This is the Zai. Zai something, I think, is what this one's called. I have sold a ton of these, mainly because I've been recommending them to people. But look, it's got the little sharks here. The sharks are smaller than this big fish here. And it's got the dragon that's chasing the sharks. What can't you love about this artwork? So a lot of people ask me what my favorite artwork is in all of Magic the Gathering. It's definitely Ancient Tomb, the old school Ancient Tomb. I kind of like this more comic fantasy looking art. So this is perfectly my style. And I just absolutely adore this play mat. It's my favorite play mat. I'll play it over even playing with my Rogue Deck Builder play mats because it's just so gorgeous. So there you have it with the play mats. I guess we didn't open up a, a, we usually do this at the start of the video here. We open up a, um, out of our quarantine, even though I haven't been doing these daily videos, uh, our quarantine calendar. <laughs> so this is my third video that I've done in the quarantine and we'll see what Harry Potter character we get here. So it is not a clue what this is. Not a clue what this guy is. Someone in the comments, tell me what, what Harry Potter. <laughs> I think, oh no, that's the other guy from Goblet of Fire, right? The other foreign guy. Uh, the one that Hermione's in love with. I think that's who that is. Anyway, that's all I got for this video for the Dragon Shield playmats. You can definitely come check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash rogue deck builder and look at the, the pricing models we have. All these are, are more eligible for the 15 accessories are eligible for any patron that is $15 or over per month. You definitely get your m money back on these sorts of things. I know there's a lot of people that even flip a lot of the products that I sell on eBay and whatnot, I don't care what you do with your life. Uh, if that's your cup of tea, then, then, then go for it. You can make it work. So once again, let me, let me show you the other coin collection that comes with these. Just every one of them comes with some cool coins uh, that you can use as life counters or flipping coins uh, for your various um, coin flipping commanders, decks that are out there these days. And highly, highly, highly recommend these mats. They are just very durable. They're gorgeous. They don't pick up a lot of oils and, and stuff. They have a nice sticky back to them. Uh, the uh, the stitch is a good addition because if you play with the non-stitch mats, they'll start to wear and tear. Uh, a lot of my Rogue Deck Builder mats are just completely destroyed just how many how many times I've used them. But for the price, I don't think you can, you can find a better quality. And again, we'll have links in the description below on how to join the Patreon and how to order these gorgeous play mats. And we hope you enjoyed this video. We'll continue to have these product review videos. This has been Kevin with Gone Rogue Games. Thanks for watching.